Hello, today I am going to discuss about how to assemble our raw reads to the context. So if you have your reference genome, then you can map all the trim context to the reference genome. But if you, ha you don't have the reference genome with you, suppose you are working on some model organism new organism so for that the reference genome is not available ncbi in that case you have to go for de novo, uh, de novo assembly to get your context after that you can use that context as a reference you know to map your reads with that so what is context we know that re reads are small in size in case of um, this pair and sequencing we have done alumina 2 into 150 base pair sequencing so it is small in size so when we will assemble that we will go for de novo assembly all the overlap sequence that will assemble together and they will make large size of context so from the so context is the assembled form of reads so we can get numbers of context after that after getting that context, we can go further process. Like we can blast that context using blast to go software. We'll discuss later on about that, how to blast that on and all these things. Today I'm going to discuss about how to de novo assemble our trimmed raw reads. So last two video I discussed about how to check the quality of your raw sequence after that how to trim that data today i'm going to discuss about how to de novo assemble our context trim context so here also i will use the software called trinity so trinity is mainly linux based software you can use that in linux system also but for that it is needed many commands but it, it you can also use trinity in this galaxy server that is you can do it online last day i discussed about it for trimming your data using trimomatic so now i'm going to discuss about how you can use trinity for assemble your reads it is called de novo assembly so reference genome is not present with us for that purpose left side you can go to the this option called assembly choose here click here here you can see trinity option is there click here so it will give you option as your sequence is parent you have to select this paired sequence after that you have to select your forward or left sequence this forward sequence that is also known as r1 and R2 that is reverse sequence. So we have with us last day in last video I show you how to trim your data. These two our raw data. This is forward, this is reverse that we got from Illumina sequencing. After that, we trimmed it using trimomatic software. Who don't know about how to trim it using this trimomatic? You can go to my previous video. So after getting this trim data, there are different criteria based on which we trim that raw sequence. So now we can use this trim trimomatic data for de novo assembly. For that, we have to select this R1. R1 you should pay, you should select R1 this pair after this R2 also pair uh, sequencing. So <coughs> all these two forward and reverse sequence we selected. Now we'll go for assembly okay so for assembly you have to click on execute so now it will start assembly as you can see here it will form one log file and one assembled file now it is running now i'm going to show you how this assembled file looks like how your context looks like okay now i'm going to show that
it is uh, this assembly is running till now after getting that assembly you can download it download it from here okay when it will be over i am going to say it will take time because uh, it will depend on your internet speed it will take time it is running now so i have done it before so i am going to show you how the file looks like okay you can download it after it's finished okay so you go to your file it will look like that see you have uh, app downloading you can see this file that is assembled file okay and on lock file also you can able to see in text format okay i'm going to show you how it look like okay so this is not the file let me open this one let me open this so assemble file means all the small size of reads that are assembled together and they form our sequence and that is last size of the sequence that is also known as assembly so now you can see it here see this is one assembly it, it will come in faster format okay dot fa format it will come as you can see here it is one contig we started with getter and sign and some name indicator and all this thing so it will show you one fragment so this is one contig after that you can see many contigs are there some are large size contigs some are small size contigs and also length is given here suppose this context so this uh, the length of this context is 1428 okay so like that you can get many contexts but you don't know which context is which in for that purpose you have to blast all these contexts using different software software are available you cannot uh, do it uh, using ncbi uh, blast because uh, large amount of this uh, context are there individually you can do so generally we can use uh, the software called blast to go for blast all these uh, sequence together so in later on video i will discuss about how to use the blast to go to blast our this context because without blasting our context we don't know about the information of the context so we need to know which context is which gene code for which gene so we need to know that about the context and we should know the which gene is code for that context okay we need to know the genes so later on the video we will learn about how to use that blast to go for blasting all the contexts together so this is the basic of the de novo assembly it is used when our reference genome is not available with us we are doing for some model organism we are assembled all the contexts together now we will blast this context and we will use for different purpose we can go for marker discovery like snp marker we can look into that transcriptome data or microsatellite data so there are different softwares available for that purpose we will discuss about it also later on so now i'm going to stop this video so this is all about the de novo assembly of model organism using trinity software this trinity software is very highly cited software nowadays so you can use also user friendly software like clc genomics software that is based on windows so that is also very helpful and uh, that is very easy for the uh, starter who is uh, which are just going to start their work and they are in their initial step so clc also i'm going to discuss about clc in later on my videos so for two days this is okay thank you very much all